Vidalgus Gedmanas of Norway won via a 4 1 split in his opening fight against Hector Vera of Ecuador. Boxed at the European Games in 2019, Norwegian national champion in the same year. Ivan Paparkin of Ukraine, reigning national champion. Haven't seen him yet, he got a bye. It was difficult really to gauge too much about Gedmanas's ability level in his fight against Hector Vera because it was, well, it was an awful fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we now bring your attention to the ring A, where we are presenting to your attention very, very messy. That's Paparkin. 235 amateur fights he's had by the age of 22. Started boxing in 2008 when he would have been eight, nine years old. Definitely an advantage the younger you start. As long as you're well coached, of course, those formative years are, are crucial. But the longer you've been doing this, the more used to it you are, the more you see, often the better you will be. So for Parkin, Southpaw, Gedmanas, Orthodox fighter. Stands up quite tall for Parkin. Shuffles forward. Not big movements with those feet. Trying to close the ring down on Gedminas. Just ditches in a right hand off the back foot there. Not particularly strong. And for Parkins, just managing to dictate in the early stages here. He's pushing Gedminas into the corners. Hasn't really tried to unload on him yet. Just that little bit of, of front foot pressure is just causing Gedminas to back up. Left of the body there from the parking. Kind of locked in the clinch there briefly. And then Paparkin manages to get slightly free. Looks for a left hand on the inside. Very efficient the way he moves. There is no wasting of energy there, none at all, kind of robotic. <laughs> Left to the chest there for Parkin. the final 10 seconds of the round. Not been action packed, but it's the Ukrainian who's going to take it. He's landed a, a few to the body. And as I say, just managed to just dictate the play, if you like, with the use of those feet, just taking that space, pushing Gedminas around the ring, making him go where he wants him to go. 10 nines from all five judges. And that's a real skill in itself. If you can control the round without really doing anything, and when I say that, I mean without really punching, then you're onto something. Left hand to the body there. His style is all about economy. 
for Parkin. And he's taken that first round without taking anything at all out of his tank. Little jab. Landed. Counted. So into the second, the parking of Ukraine in the blue, Gedman Ass of Norway in the red, and the Ukrainian very efficiently managed to put round one in his pocket without doing an enormous amount of punching, but a long left hand there gets through. But a lot of what he did do, landed. And some good ring craft on show. I think there's a cut on the inside of the eye there, or just on the inside of the bridge of the nose of, of Gedman as from that long left hand. I don't think it was a head clash. I don't know if there's bad damage there. There doesn't seem to be a lot of blood, but there is some. I'm quite surprised the referee hasn't had a look at it. Well, there's not much actually, and that, that would be the reason. Not much at all. Gedmanas, not exactly being thrown around, but being pushed around, literally there, being pushed around. Parkin lets his hands go on the inside. Left hand came back there from Gedmanas. The Ukrainian is just, he's just gone up a gear. Nothing huge. Bit of blood coming out the end of his nose, I think. So maybe the heads have, have come together on the inside a bit. Gedmanas just being told to, to keep that head up, right into the body from Gedmanas. Who has had more success in this round, but so is Paparkin. Good stiff left hand there from the Ukrainian. final 30 seconds of round two and this is another round that the Ukrainian is on course to win it's his opening fight of his campaign got a bye in the first round Gedman has got that win against Vera of Ecuador So that'll be another round safely in the bank there for, for Parkin, I would say. Well, split scoring with the with the judges there. Moldova, Turkey and Thailand have gone for Gedmanas. Zimbabwe and Argentina have gone for, for Parkin. I thought that was, that was quite clearly a, a round for the blue corner. The upshot of that is that this is still in the balance. Parkin with a two-point lead with two of the judges and the other three cards are level so if Gedman can win this final round then then he can win this fight he did do some damage there because you saw the blood from the nose of the Parkin but I thought it was similar to the first round I thought the Ukrainian really was dictating all punches were let go Gedman did have some, some more success as I said about midway through the round but so did his opponent but that's the situation three rounds three cards rather level Gedmanas needs to win all of them but Parkin just needs one long left hand there from the Ukraine it goes down to the body with left as well Right 
hand on the inside got through there from Gedmanas. Also tried to turn over that right hand, just turning, spinning around that front foot there. Paparkin landed with a left. Good long right hand there from Gedmanas. Knocked back the head of Paparkin. Minute gone in the final round. Sneaky little left on the inside there from the Ukrainian. Again, just inching forward with that front foot, throws the jab. Gedmanas is trying to lean in and wrestle a little bit. Midway through the third and final round, not much in this final round so far. Gedmanas, remember, needs to turn all of those three level cards into round wins. Having got that second round, 3-2. Parkin took the first round. 5-0, bit messy, maybe these two are feeling the pace a bit, it's not really been that frenetic a fight, they're just kind of falling into each other, both trying to land and then moving onto the shoulder, Paparkin trying to find some room for the uppercut, but it wasn't really there, catches Gedmanas with that lead jab, not particularly stiff, but it was on target, So final 20 seconds. And not much to choose between them in this last three minutes. First round was easy to score. I had the second round down as a, a round for the blue corner, but crucially three of the judges didn't. And that's what matters. Well, the bell goes and By the law of probability, I suppose that it's more likely that Paparkin will get this because he only needs one of those three drawn cards to go his way and there was no clear winner in that final round, at least not from where I was sitting. Gedmanas needs all three of those 1919s to convert to 29-28s in his favour. If he can do that, then he's through. Well, he gets it, he gets it, it's split scoring in that final round. Three 10-9s for Gedmanas, two for Paparkin. And as I said, he just needed to turn one of those 19-19s into a round win. And he was through. And he gets it by a score of 30 to 27. Two twenty-nine twenty-eights with two twenty-nine twenty-eights going the way of Gedmanas. So three-two in the end. So close, really, really close. I, I couldn't split them in that final round at all. Really couldn't. But if I'd gone Gedmanas's way, which I easily could have done, then I still would have ended up with with two one for Parkin myself. So the way I looked at that one, I think the right man got it, and that concludes our action. For the evening session in Ring B, we've had a lot of incident in Ring B today, both in the afternoon and in the evening. Point deduction to disqualification.